Yo, a lot of misinformation is going on about Shang Li now, and people are freaking out. Is Shang Li mid? Is she bad? Some people are saying it's good. And today I'm going to give you the definitive answers for that. And I asked so many theory crafters, like so many theory crafters. I wanted to make the video yesterday, but I had to make more research. And for now, I got very, very similar answers. So today, let's go on a little journey to know if Shang Li is mid or one of the best characters. So now the main problem why people are having a problem with Shang Li is that she is hard to play as a main DPS especially when you compare her to a character like Jian or even Jin C because Jian is kind of brain dead but some people are saying Shang Li is very hard and you don't get a good reward for it and this is the first misinformation based on so many calculations Shang Li has either the same amount of damage as Jian or with some other calculations it's like one or two percent difference so she basically has the same power as Jian but the thing is she's harder than Jian so the thing is Jian gives you so much value and he's easy and she gives you the same amount of value while being hard so she's not like going to give you a bad value or things like that no she's very good she's very powerful but she's hard does Shang Li have severe inconsistency problems I don't know about severe but yes she has some inconsistency problems and let me demonstrate this problem to you right now if you look at the first and second basic it's a very normal animation that is easy to hit now if you look at the third animation this is a dash and it has a weird hitbox that can mess up sometimes not all the time and the problem is it's not only about the third but also about the fourth because these two basic attacks are the problem with her and the thing is Shang Li has two combos and in one of the combos the third and fourth basic attack should be used like should be used to complete this combo and I can see why people are saying that it's not consistent if you land it you're doing big damage but it's not actually actually a very big deal but it is a problem to be acknowledged but the big reason why this is not a big problem is the second combo that you can use on Shang Li so here's the difference between the first and second combo the first combo is you use your phoenix you plunge you use your normal attack combo and you use your third and fourth and you get your conquest or whatever you use your ability you get your conquest you use your ability you get your conquest and then you use your charge and use your ultimate to fix that combo and not use the third and fourth you can have the double intro combo which is you build concerto energy on the other two characters you have to get almost full concerto on her so all you do is intro on her do the first combo and when you plunge you switch and then you use your intro again and skip the third and fourth attack and also it saves time so it's more consistent and slightly better now some people are saying okay the character isn't that hard i'm seeing something inconsistent but what are you talking about okay so here is the problem or not the problem I actually like the fact that Shang Li is very hard. I want a character that has very high skill ceiling and a low skill floor, like her. She, like she, she has some easy combos that you can do, but also she gives you the ability to do some hard things. Why is that? Because she almost can cancel anything she does. You can switch out of your ability. You can switch out of your conquest. You can switch out of your charge attack. And this will give Shang Li a lot of room for switching to another character and doing a lot of these quick swaps and going here and there then doing the normal then uh, swapping to another character then doing the charge then swapping to another character and doing so many things in the same time that's how crazy her combos can go so Shang Li has this insane amount of combos she, that she can do and that means that she has a low skill floor and a high skill ceiling because of course you can randomly switch to other characters and do a combo but also if you understand this you can do more combos and in the future she will have more with more characters of course considering that the first two combos are her main combos that we are considering are talking about now Jensa is still the best DPS in the game she's better than Jian she's better than Shang Li her being more more powerful than Shang Li doesn't mean that Shang Li is mid. If you do a very long combo and more than one rotation with Jensa and more than one rotation with Shang Li, Jensa will probably have a maximum of 30% damage more than her. In a faster rotation, this number will be even lower. Same thing goes with Jian. But some people will say, okay, so since Jian has the same power of Shang Li, but it's easier to implement, this makes Jian have a better value, right? Yeah, I completely agree with this. I care about meta, but I also care about having fun in the game. And for me, Jian is very boring. You don't 
earn the gameplay in the game and we will never get a character that Jian. and i'm gonna talk about this in another video but i can get the same amount of damage with having the ability to stylize even more to have more fun to get more combos and this is kind of personal preference two characters with the same amount of damage one of them being easy one of them being hard the obvious answer the easier is the better but for a lot of people they will also choose the better gameplay the more fun gameplay for them that's personal preference another thing about chen li is that she's very free to play friendly first we have this sword that is almost in every single account and the difference between this and this is almost like 15 percent so it's not really a big deal you already have one of the best swords on her that will give her a good value in terms of echoes you can also mix and match the fusion and attack a lot of characters go with only fusion fusion she can go with fusion attack she can go with attack attack there's a difference there's a different fusion fusion is good but the difference is very minimal that doesn't matter a lot to other people but i'm just adding it as a plus to the character but the more important thing is her teams the first problem with her is that it's kind of essential to use verena with her so she kind of depends on verena a lot you can use baija it's kind of good but verena has a better value of course and she depends on her a lot that's the first one problem but you look at the other thing she is insane at having so many other characters that can work with her you can use her with yin lin and get a lot of damage as one of the best teams if not the best team you can use her with onkar and use dual dps and have a great team by the way her and onkar have a good team even if you like chisia she will buff chisia a lot the fact that you can even use her with jinsa is insane that's not the best team by the way i'm saying that she has good value in these teams but of course some of the other teams can be more optimal you have also more teffy you can even use sanhua like using sanhua with her won't buff her actually but will give her the amount of quick swapping to have a fun team and that has a very less value but still powerful that's how good and the amount of teeth that she has so it's easy for her to be built if you are free to play so the, all of this misinformation going on in the internet that the character is very mid i have to take this example i got one guide and so many other people got one guide by the same guy i'm talking about this comment if you see this is a tweet by gacha smack i speak for 99 percent of shankly owners when i say this nobody asks nobody cares little bro actually your ass in the back with everything very cool harder so this comments is saying too bad such a beautiful character is so weak her personal damage calculations are mediocre which is completely wrong fusion dps slot is already filled by onkor who said that the onkor team is basically very very good with shang li if you want to use her with onkor and you can have more than one fusion team insane right synergy with onkor is bad because all damage is worthless and sanhua already exists and it's free so sanhua is better sanhua is better than shang li in the onkor team but the synergy between shang li and onkor is very good and it's a great team not only that that's not even the best team for shang li you can use shang li as a main dps and not as dual dps but the fact that she can make her a dual dps in so many teams with so many characters is very good why am i talking about this comment it's because i had the same exact comment in my video so there's a person doing the same exact comment copying and pasting in so many other videos to say some misinformation with partial truth probably like if some people are that invested to make a character look bad you know that i don't like saying that this guy came from another game and he's trying to i'm gonna be real this guy came from another game like sorry so don't worry people i'm here to save you the character is good anyway if you don't subscribe now you're gonna lose your 50 50 bye bye